Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night and a great week, folks. You are what you believe you are. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are right now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls your power. It's what you believe. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 19, NASDAQ off 3, S&P's up 7.5. Gold, gold contract up $20, $28.50 at 2124 an ounce. You get silver up 73 cents, 21 dollars 10 cents an ounce, light sweet crude down a buck 12. 78 dollars 85 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note, down nine ticks, trading 110.24. The 30 year down 14 ticks at 119.19 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 41 ticks, trading 103, 820, Euro at 108, Yen at 150 British pound at 126 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is you get a small ABC up in both of them. My take is that, you know, we're gonna get a pullback here because you do have a huge contraction of volume. But guess what? <laughs> I think the ABC is gonna finish first. So right now on the spy, we're at 513, and it's, <laughs> check this out. Yeah, it's 526. So you got a long way to go here, man. Um, we'll see how it shakes out, but we took that B point out, and we took it out with volume on Friday. So, and it's a, it's a decent ABC on the way up. So 526, we're at 513. We go to the NDX 100, the three Qs. Take a look at the three Qs. Same, another ABC up. Right now they're flat. You're at 445, and this is 454. You know, you can see Friday. Friday was a big day. It had wide price spread, plus you had the accelerated volume. Takes it out, man. Takes it out with volume. So we have an ABC up, up market anyway. So I suspect window dressing really is going to be closing up maybe tomorrow, today, tomorrow. So the next catalyst here is going to end up being Powell uh, in front of Congress. So let me see. I think that starts Wednesday, right? Well, I have it in this one here. Well, I get a, I get a, oh, we get the beige book, too, on the 6th. Yeah, Powell in front of Congress is going to do it, though. Now, check this out. We know that the gold contract's been on the run, but this is pretty cool. Look at this. Okay, so this is the GLD. Now, I just brought the GLD back 20 years. The GLD is breaking all highs, okay? We've been, we were, the consolidation that we were in was a three-year consolidation, a four-year consolidation, okay? Now, we broke that. Now, this is what's important to understand, though, right? Watch this. I'll leave that one up just so you can understand how this works because we're actually higher than that. Because the GLD has a four tenths of one percent fee structure, yeah, it's four, it's four tenths of one percent. Okay, so in four years, okay, what do we got? One point six percent. You see what I'm saying? So we're really breaking this, and we get the juice behind it. So bottom line, you get to new highs. Guess what? New highs, higher, higher you can go. I'm going to take the generic contract. And the reason I'm taking the generic contract right now is that I want to see what we're going up against. I'm going to put this first on a 10-year. I might have to expand it to bigger than that. Yeah, I do. But this is pretty cool. Look at this. See, you broke it. Now, this is what gets interesting here. Do you remember? Well, of course you remember. <laughs> Four months ago, the bottom line, we broke it and failed. Now, we're not at that price point yet, but the bottom line, we'll see whether, you know, you can, can do it. But you can see how this is 
shaken out. So put this back 20. Yeah, same deal. So what, what happens, folks, is that, you know, when you get new highs, you don't have any resistance. I mean, that's, that's, that's the bottom line because no one's bought yet. It's a big number, man. It's totally a big number. Let's get into the silver contract. Take a look at the silver contract. Silver contract today really got some juice. Fr Friday wasn't bad, but today is really got some juice. 81,000 contracts. That's big contract volume for the silver. Yeah, you can see it's the expansion of volume from Friday, too. Friday, we did 73,000. So silver's on its way up to this $28 level. Right now, you're at $24.12. We go to the note and bond market. We take a look at the note and bond market. And we have out here with the 10-year, 10-year had a decent sign of strength on Friday. You're pulling back today with light volume. We did 2.6 or 2.7 million contracts on Friday. Let's see what we got. And we were rolling also. Yeah, 2.7 million contracts Friday. You're rolling back with 1.1. That's a market that wants higher price. And then we go to the dollar. We take a look at this dollar. This dollar is hanging tough, man. It's pretty wild. It, as I say, it's hanging tough. It is, OK? But it looks to me like this still wants to get in the lower range. And we've been dealing with this now for almost two full weeks. It got in the lower range once, rejected it right away, and then Three other days, it got to the top of the lower range and then rejected it. Now, the cool thing about that, folks, is that if it does break into the lower range, you are going to see volume explode. Because when that's the building cause of it. The longer that you build cause, <laughs> the more destruction that it can done on the downside. The longer you build cause on the upside, the higher it can go. Dow Industrials right now down 13, NASDAQ's up 12, S&P's are up 11. Stay right there, folks. Come back with I'm Mr. Steve Rhodes.